Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Menu True Nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim, where you join me here in the mountains of Falkreath, where I've got stop blurring into the camera so we see inside you for a minute, Serrano, that's not helpful. Where we have got, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful armor and maces and all sorts of ludicrously powerful stuff, and also, we are the kings of the Bloodlet Throne, which is probably good. I mean, admittedly, we just killed everyone else. But you know what? That's fine. That's sometimes just how kings work. I'm heading down to Falkreath because a load of people want to say, oh, thank you. You're so marvelous to me, the wonderful vampire lord that everyone loves. But before that point, before that, I've got to go and kill a dragon. And this is blatantly not the right way to go. Actually, it might be. Might just be able to get over this rock. This kind of looks like where the game would put an invisible wall, potentially. Hammer that jump button. Yeah, that's totally an invisible wall. Fine, okay. How do we get to the bloody dragon in that case? I don't see much of a way through. It's possible that's a cut through like there that I might be able to cut in. So if I loop back around and to the left, I might be able to get in that way. Otherwise, I may have to go down to Helgen and work my way up this slope, which looks like it may be much more approachable. But I'll try going round to the left first. Right, so looping around this side, now go around here. This looks much more ascendable, if that's a word, which it probably isn't. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we're not too far away from what's her faces house on this occasion. And this all looks quite manageable. Now it should be straight down. It's kind of difficult for the game to stop you going down. Up, fine. Down, bit of a problem. Now we've got... Ah! Right. I see a dragon over there. Sure. Now, once again, we might be able to... Where's Serana? Serana's just naffed off. Fine. I'd like to think you can sneak up on a dragon. You probably can't, but I'm gonna give it a go again. So, quick muffle. Just to be oh so silent. There we are. All muffled up. Lovely. All right, down we go, down we go, down we go, down we go, down we go. Don't you detect me. It is likely they're just triggered by you getting sufficiently close to them, whether or not they've detected you, but screw it. I'll give it a go. So close. So close to the dragon. So close to the dragon. Okay, I'm starting to actually have hopes about this. I'm actually going to get out my ebony dagger. Come on. Come on. I'm going to... Okay, I'm not going to assassinate a dragon, but I might be able to do something to it. I'm probably a little bit too low down, to be honest. If I take a swing... Okay, um... The problem is... Okay, I'm going to need to get up to its... Oh, I need to get over to its wings. Its tail's too high up for me. Okay, if I climb up onto this thing... If I climb up onto to here... Right, now if I take up a swing... Okay, what if I jump and then take a power... Then it'll totally detect me. Right, jump around here. Good, 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 good. And... And then I missed because I was too far away. Come on. Just, just get. Why is this not working? I literally. How is this not working? Boo! I'm actually getting a. No! I'm being cheated out of a sneak attack. That's not fair. That's not cocking fair in the slightest. That's. Oh, screw you. That's. Okay, fine. I'm going to go back around the rear. So if I can just basically jump and then just... No, then it detected me. Gosh darn it. Oh, well, never mind. Well, screw it. Let's just get some stuff going on here. Right. Storm Atronach, gonna need you present and correct. Then have some healing going on because... Oh, blimey, you're taking some damage pretty quick. Love it. Right, why don't you just come down and land? Because I think with my new armor, I can probably just basically... Okay. Also, the dragon's just caught in slow motion. Is it being affected by slokes of the ice that Serana's casting at it? Because <laughs> if so, that's kind of hilarious. Right, well, the dragon's just doing that right now, so I guess we'll just kind of rob it while it's coming in in slow motion or whatever. Here we go. Nice chest right here. Yeah, screw it. I'll have some gold and some lesser soul gems and what have you. Yeah, I think it's actually being impacted by slow, which admittedly, when you are- Oh, no, 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 it's got over it now, it's fine, and I think it's coming down for a landing. You coming down for a landing? No, you're just gonna kind of hover. That's a shame. Oh, we got the landing. Right, okay, just need to get around the back of it right now. I still remember how to fight. Yeah, you know what? Good luck. I think in a straight-up fight, I now win face-to-face -face with a dragon, actually. Oh, yeah. I actually get- Oh, I'm doing the animation where I jump on its face and then mace it in the head. Oh yeah, blood dragons, you're not worrying me so much anymore, actually. Beautiful. 
And we've just maced it in the face with a dragon boat. I literally maced it with something that I improved with the bones of its dead brethren. Ooh, bloody hell. The dragons are probably terrified of me by now. That's awesome. And soul collected. Beautiful. Serana looks distinctly unimpressed by that, but whatever. Now, what is the word of power? Because I'm going to guess it wasn't worth coming here for. And the word is animal, animal allegiance. Ah, I think I've already got... I've already got some of that. I can't remember whether I've already got one stage of that. Or was that... No, I had the animal... I had something else. The animal one that's... Yeah, kind's peace. So I've got one word of that. Animal allegiance instead is... Shadow of help beast of the wild. Okay, so the same thing that um, the wood elves get. As their innate ability. Okay, sure. That sounds sort of fun. Though I'm guessing at level 1 it doesn't summon like that many good animals, but it might be hilarious just to have yet more creatures running in and assisting me. Basically, I just want as many things as possible to come in and fight on my behalf. And if we end up in a situation where I can basically summon a dragon, and the dragon summons three followers of its own, and then when I take twin souls I can also have something else, and also I have a companion and the companion summons something, and then I do a shout and a bunch of rabbits and foxes come in to help me, that just strikes me as too hilarious not to do. Also, this is weird. On the compass right now, the game is saying, Hey, due east, very close by, there's something important that you're going to want to... to see. Or turn in... Wait, what? Hang on, what the bloody hell is this? Because on the map, there's nothing there. Alright, well, I'm a sucker for a mysterious cave that I'm not sure I've got any reason to go into. What's this place called? This is... Bone Chill Passage, but... How am I supposed to... Oh, is this just telling me the way to get down? This is the way you're supposed to get up to the dragon. Fine, that's just the passage that leads down to the village if you want, you want to go directly rather than fast travelling. Yeah, I see. I see the problem. Yeah, so I basically just skipped a way that would have taken me otherwise, like... And that'll presumably down there be like Bone Shield Passage lower. Fine, that's how you're kind of supposed to get up to Ancient Ascent. Uh, it's the same way there's... Uh, there's one close by to, what was it called, Shore Stone that does the same thing where to get to the dragon, you have to go through a passageway. But you can just actually skip that. But go on then, sure, there might be some good loot or something in here. Ah! Frost Trolls! I see, basically it's just Frost Trolls guarding the way to the dragon. Well, that's fine. Honestly, I feel like Frost Trolls at this point... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like we got Frost Trolls number. I think it's alright. Actually, wait, is my thing out of charge? It felt like that wasn't doing its charge that it should have done. Oh, yeah, my thing's completely out of charge. All of that was without charge. Well, that's fine. Black Star it up at this point, and next time we run into something, oh, we'll be doing, like, 50% more damage on grounds of the actual enchantment. Oh, that's beautiful. That's just lovely. Yep, and there we are, Bone Chill Passage once again. So that's just kind of on the map twice, I suppose. Lovely, and that presumably therefore gets us very close by to Fault Grief itself. Beautiful. Well, not that close by, to be honest. I'm kind of now way over in this direction. Okay, may as well just kind of check if there's anything else going on around here, though. Honestly, looks like there's not that many. There's like one cave over there I can do without exploring every single cave. Fine, I might just fast travel back to Fulcrief in that case, because now I've got bounties to turn in. In general, I should probably be the Jarl's best friend. Not sure that's enough to make me faint. It kind of feels like killing a few bandits and one dragon shouldn't be enough for that. Right, back in town, and one of my objectives is outside. I'm going to guess that's Dengar, so I need to tell him about his vampiric dead great-uncle or whatever. My family thanks you. Take this as a token of our gratitude. Right, job done there, and 200 gold as well. And nothing else from him. Fine. Now, also, one of the other guys said, Oh, look me up when you get back to Falkreath. You'll always be welcome in my house. So that was the guy who we rescued from the cave. Uh, not him, because that's corpse lights. Where does that guy live in that case? Oh, actually, he might be in the bar. Sometimes not everyone actually has a designated house. And yes, he is. Vold here is right here doing some lovely alchemy. So by any chance, does he actually like me? Is he willing to give me something now? Hello again, friend. I'll never forget what you did for me. No, he's just willing to basically say, Oh, yes, I, I love you and I'll never forget what you did. I'm not willing to actually give you any form of material assistance in any way, but I'm really, really grateful. Right, in that case, back to the Jarl, because, yeah, I've got a bounty to claim and also I've killed some bandits that might have otherwise potentially embarrassed him a bit. So, first up, Dragon at Ancient Ascent is indeed dead. Very dead indeed. I am the Dragonborn. It's kind of my job. I'm here for the bounty, please. Excellent. You've done us a great service. 
Here is your reward. Beautiful. 500 gold. That's decent. And I'm assuming if there's like a whole, oh, you need to help the people of this town, like mini quest before I become fame, we need to do three things. I'm guessing killing that dragon counts as one. And the Vidgar vampire thing probably counts as another. So probably I've already done enough if I had to guess. Because yeah, also I've done the werewolf thing. So I've avenged the, like, the little girl that was killed. So hopefully he'll now say, oh, you need to help the people. Oh, I see you already have. Please be vain. Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know Ooh, what? 1,500. I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. Ah, I think that might be actually connected to the Hearthfire business. That might actually be land you can build a house on rather than anything else. There is room in my court for a new fame. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my fame. I really feel like I must have already done enough, because I've done multiple quests for the locals so far. On your way then. Now, if I come back to him now, one out of three? Seriously? Wow, okay. Um, right. Well, I guess Syndgar wasn't really a local. I have helped... Actually, I've helped Vidgar twice. Right, does anyone else want me to do anything? Ah, okay, I could purchase a house here. I'm not sure which house it is, or maybe it's just land. There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. Depends on the flipping cost. Ooh, 5,000. You know what? For 5,000, absolutely. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your steading. Follow the road east from Falkreath, then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. Oh, just past the secret bandit encampment. Lovely, thanks. Sadly, being a landowner nearby doesn't actually count. I've still only helped one person. How can I only have helped one person? Like, literally, Vold here has been rescued. The person at the bar told me to do that. He's a local. Syngar wasn't a local, but I've sorted out his curse problem, but I can see why they wouldn't care about that. I've helped out the Jarl personally. I stole the letter for and then went to kill the vampire uncle of Vindgar. I really feel like the game's being very harsh, only telling me I've got one out of three. In fact, I'm not even sure what's bloody left at this point. Meanwhile, I've already spoken to the potion shop person. I know she's not got any quests for me at all. Okay, but any chance have you got... Ah, the dog. Right, the dog for Lord. Except I know, of course, you don't actually bring him the dog. That just leads to a different quest because the dog's a special dog and it involves a Daedric Prince and whatever. So that's not really helping him to be honest. Potentially the shopkeep has a quest, but really I'm kind of running out of people who could give me quests here. Nope, Solaf has an odd facial expression and no actual quest. So I'm really confused how I'd get to three out of three locally. Well, I've never actually built a house in Skyrim before, so I may as well just go and have a little looks at what's going on here first. Sure. So we say close by to- oh, blimey. He really means it very close by to Pine Watch. Fine, let's go to Pine Watch and then just head north- ooh. Oh, that'd be a lovely place for a house. Lakeview Manor. Yes, indeed. I should have guessed I had a view of a lake from that. This is a lovely part of the world. Ooh, I like this. Oh, and it's a lovely time of day to be visiting it too. Right at flipping dusk. Right, round here, there's just a couple of... You know what? I think I can handle a mud crab. That's fine. Lovely. Just get rid of you. Right, now cut through here. I don't need mud crabs near my property, thank you very much. And this is... When he did say it was land, not a house, that does strike me as fair enough. Yes, so uh, Lakeview Manor. I feel like it would be fairer to call it Lakeview Manor, like, you know, site right now, rather than Lakeview Manor itself. Does have a... It does potentially have a really nice view. Oh, this could be a lovely place. This could be really lovely. Right, okay. May as well have a little look at this, just to see where it goes first. Hang the flip on. So we've got ourselves some... Ooh, Plans. And also a chest. What have you given me? Ooh. Presumably starting materials. And a carpenter's workbench. And a beginner's guide to homes. Okay. Seriously. Serana, could you just kind of keep an eye on the mud crabs for me for a second? I'm busy building a house. Right. Drafting table. So I need to buy lumber for building my house. And then use the drafting table to begin building the house. So presumably I need a... 
A house. Okay. Small house layout. Create that. Do I want to create this item? Um, probably? Right, okay. So now I need to build the foundation of the house, because that's all I can build for now. I guess I need to build a small house, then we, like, expand it or something. So carpenter's workbench. I'm going to start hammering out a house. Yes. Good idea. So for that, I need... Oh, wait, requires 20 saw logs. Apparently I just have those. And also, Serana's joining in, just so she doesn't look completely bloody useless. Well, I swear I've got some... Some quarried stone. I just saw some right here. Right. So take ten of that. Because that's what the game just said. And now I can lay a house foundation. Boom. Lovely. And I also need some wall framing. But for that I need ten nails. Any chance you've given me some nails as well? No. Tragically you haven't. So I've got a, a foundation. So that's um. That's all we got for now Serana. So that's okay. We'll just live here for the time being and hopefully there won't be any you see i shouldn't actually build anything more complicated serana's struggling just to get into the bloody house as it is nope she banked off for a second there i thought she might there she goes she got it serana flipping got it right well one day maybe this will be a beautiful house for the time being maybe we just remember that's there because yeah this could be a this could be a lovely place when it's done. I mean, it's a bit small right now, but we might be able to make it a bit better. Well, I say that, but I also just can't help but notice down here, is that a flipping necromancer on some form of altar? Like, I've got nothing against necromancy. I am one, but, like, there shouldn't be extra necromancers here. Like, I should be the necromancer. Excuse me, this is actually my property at this point. Are you angry right now? I suspect you are, yes, so I guess I'll just toss you in, get on my conjuration a bit, and you're probably going to bring back some skeletons or something. There we go. Oh, blimey. Chopped down in one. Didn't go well for you, Mr. Conjurer. Oh, not even a necromancer, just a generic conjurer. Fine. So, you're dead. That's nice. There's actually... Clear this thing out. This could be nice, actually. I think I must have read that already, surely. Yeah, I think I've already read all of the um, the Conjuration books. There was that dungeon that actually had, like, loads of them in. This would actually be useful. If we can just set up some defences, so, like, no other Conjurers and Necromancers use this, I could have my house up there, like, looking over the lake, and then down here, a bit out of the way, because, you know, company might not... Ooh, glass sword, nice. Because company might not approve, I could have my Necromancy table. All right, just so I can do, like, the human sacrifices a bit out of the way. And that will mean, you know, we don't get stains on the carpet, and people won't get to, oh, you shouldn't kill humans, because that's bad for whatever reason. Yeah, that could work pretty nicely for me. Now, we've got the bow ready to go. Before we wrap up the DLC, I should try and get hold of maybe some of this stuff that I've been told about, the special items. And it looks like I need to do the quests, potentially in a certain order, in order to get those. Right, with Folk Reef apparently pretty much cleared out. Touching the sky, Oriel's bow. That was up over here somewhere, wasn't it? Right, here we go. Sorry, over here. Yeah, pretty close by to areas I've been to before, including... Why is Deep Woodred out there? Hang on, what was that for? That's on my map, meaning someone must have told me to go there at some point. Kill the leader of Deep Woodred out. Somebody has told me to do that at some point, and I don't know who or why. <laughs> But you know what? As we're going to be passing it by, potentially, I see no reason why not. So, uh, why don't we... Ah, this could work. Yeah. Start here, and then we'll just head through this pass I haven't been through before. And that could work very, very nicely indeed, because this looks like this might all be just flipping mountain here. So, potentially, the way to get to this cave will be going through this pass here. This looks like the easiest way. So, we'll start at Clear Pine Pond, which I think just had some spriggans in it, and then we'll just work our way in this direction. Marvellous. Also, there's two things I need to do around here as well, next time I run into some humans. Uh, one, I need to actually, like, feed. Yeah, I think only a little bit. I've only just gained vampire seduction. And two, I need to recharge the black star. So I need to remember to feed on someone and then steal their su- I really am the bad guy, aren't I? Still, this appears to be the right direction. Actually, there might be a few things around here. Okay, good, good, good. This bit of the world might be a bit busy than I was expecting including very close by, some form of cave right here. A bit out of the middle of nowhere, probably nothing made, so we may just kind of uh, stick our nose in while we're... Ooh. Okay. Not nothing. There were people here not long ago. 
somebody just actually set up a camp here and then went missing. But no bags, no horses, no blood or sign of a struggle. So what exactly is this place for? Potentially, these people still live here. Yeah, lantern at the front door to all. Okay, but that down there is a wolf. Okay, just sneak in and plenty more stuff going on over there. May as well just cast you to take care of that. Just get my conjuration up. Yep, wolves going down very, very quickly. Ah, but... Okay, antler skulls on top of poles times many. I'd normally say Forsworn, but this really isn't the right bit of the world for you. This is very far north for Forsworn, so... Maybe? Maybe not. Not sure here. Right, well, heading a bit deeper. And actually, if I'm confused what might be ahead, then a quick aura whisper would be perfect. And there we go. People. Okay. But what people? Hello? Who are you exactly? Because you look like you might be... Yeah, Wanderer Mora Lord. And then one... No, that's Serana. Hello? Who are you? Ah, vampires! I've stumbled across more flipping vampires. That would explain why you're underground. Yes, right. Get down there and help out, please. I should be able to tank whatever they're throwing at me for the time being. Ooh, Night Stalkers. They're the more tough kind. Right, excuse me. Ooh, screw you. Right, hang on. I need to just quickly whip out a bound sword here. A uh, Nightmaster Vampire. And then just start... Oh, dear. Right. This is potentially the wrong person to be hitting with a bound sword. You're pretty tough. But that's fine. You focused on... I say that. Now they're focused on me. Good news, though. There we go. Now you're down on the ground. Now, don't crack him open just yet. Before we do that, I want a new friend because he killed my old one. Right. One quick Dramora Lord. Yep, fine. Get him out here and... Stab, 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 stab. I'll be having his soul. It's probably a bit of a dusty soul, a little bit on the impure side, but screw it. It will do. And now he's trying to run for it. Nope, he gets stabbed in the back. And I'll have that soul, please. Thank you very much. Definitely should have used my traditional, you know, dragon bone mace a little bit longer before going over to Bound Sword at the last minute, but screw it, whatever. Nice to run into some nice tough vampires. Wait, does someone just say, oh, that's your vampire. Marvellous. What else have we got here? Just some skulls, few bits and pieces. Yeah, just generic vampire-y sort of stuff there. As well as, ooh, is this like a vampire church or something? Because it feels like one of you was potentially giving speeches from up here. I mean, definitely feels like pews in a pulpit. So, religion of the vampires. Fascinating. Right, and we're not done yet. There's more to come. And the more to come is... No? Fine. And sadly, no prisoners. If there were prisoners, sadly too late, I cannot rescue them. Now, one skill book. And tragically already read that, but I'll have some ultimate healing. That's probably useful in an emergency. Don't get blood on your bed. That's like the vampire equivalent of having, like, crumbs in your bed. It's probably just deemed slightly annoying and rude. One big chest, though. That will be on our way. Honestly, nothing much there. Well, that's fine. Just a little vampire coven, if coven is indeed the right word. Let's be on our way. I forgot to actually uh, test there, by the way. I wonder if you can feed on a vampire if you can seduce them. Interesting. I should test that at some point. Probably not. It feels like you shouldn't be able to. That just feels kind of intuitively wrong. Now, where am I on the map right now? And once again, Saron is just desperate for a bit of attention. Okay, so I'm just in a big open area around here. So we've got ourselves, yeah, cave way in that direction. No need to worry about that. But some nice ruins up our head. Are they the ruins I want or... No, I think the ruins I want are those ones over there. So these are just different ruins. Okay. So, potentially just a different barrow. That's nice. These feel nice and big and exciting. I'm always up for exploring a barrow. In fact, actually, there's even a proper little undergroundy bit around here. You go ahead and scout out for me. See if there's anything. I mean, there's got to be something back here. And I've discovered Volseek. No, don't open the door. No, don't open the door! It's a... You're so bad at everything. That was such an obvious trap. Right, so now we've opened this obvious trap room that was obviously trapped. Turns out there's not even much in here. One ultimate healing potion. 
but that actually seems to be about your lot. Okay, bit disappointing for a trap room, to be honest. Out we go. Well, there's definitely something around there, unless Serana's already killed whatever it was. It might have just been some basic wolves and Serana's already finished them off. No, the Jamora Lord still smells weakness. No, that's some bandits. Up there, there are some bandits up ahead. Okay. So in which case, just need to nip up and take care of you. And how tough are you going to be? Ah, right. You take care of them too. Uh, maybe being like, you know, over there or something. There we go. And now dead. And dead. And oh, blimey. Oh, I am just killing orcs with a swing of my mighty mace. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this new equipment. Right, I think there was still one more up top, though. So I'll just nip up there and take care of that, because pathing is not really what the AI is best at when it comes to your companions. Although I say that, I think Serana might have just nailed it with some ice, so I think it's all right. Also, I think they just spotted something over there, did they? What have you just found? Oh, it's just a random bear. It's just a bear. That's fine. Just top of my guys from the right position. No, that's not a bear. That's a cat. They're somewhat, but not massively different. Fine. Okay. Well, we've got a named place. I like the fact this is a proper named place. I'm going to have a little Luke say. In fact, actually, Volskeek. My brain's telling me I've already run into something called that. It wasn't like something at Labyrinthium called that or something. Huh. Interesting. What if there's a connection or if I'm just misremembering a name? Probably the latter. Right. Proper dark in here. Give us a quick mask so we can see what's going on. It's people. Presumably bandits, in fact. Prepare a new Dramora Lord just to be tossed forward. So, Moira... You don't like the look of this. You're a flipping vampire. It's fine. Right, just get over there. So I think they were over there. Now, ancient ruin, but with bandits in it. Interesting. And just get around the back of the thug. Oh, my mighty mace is now the most powerful thing on the team. I love it. Also, no. No, no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop fighting, you two. All right, good, better. And we've got another mighty throne to sit upon. One with a trap plate that everyone's determined to actually... Are you about to sit on the throne? I was about to sit on the throne. All right, I already wasn't sure about you as a companion. Now I'm 100% convinced. My throne. Yes. Right, deeper underground. What have we got going on? Actually, I don't see much else going on here. Interesting. Oh, no. Okay, I see a little group way down over there. But until that, actually, seems pretty quiet in here. Also, guys, um, just FYI, trap plate, massive door with spikes. You step on that, you will get smashed in the face. Don't step on it, all right? Walk around it. Is everyone walking around it, including your idiot-like dummy friends? No, it's fine. Oh, hello. Who's the challenger? Right, okay. One bandit marauder. Oh, you know what? Screw you. Screw you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm too worried by you anymore, actually. Ha! Get down on the ground, you stupid bastards. I mean, I take a little bit of damage, but that's fine. That just keeps restoration ticking up. At this point, actually going for a ludicrously powerful weapon in one hand and healing in the other might actually be a decent thing for me to do. Bloody hell, I've gone from support to potentially even frontlining. I love it. And oh, can't get it open, yells somebody. Some form of lock or something. Okay, Vast. just a quick vas. Where are they? Right, a few of them on that side by the looks of it. And one of them coming this way, probably going to see me. No, might be lucky, but too many of them to sneak up. In fact, actually, they've already drawn weapons. So actually, if I can just potentially get a... Boom! Right, now hide, hide, hide. Let them attack each other. Let them attack each other. There we go. Right, so now we just basically get them down. Oh, okay. You fell over pretty quickly, to be perfectly honest. Let's just quickly get this going on. And there's probably more over there. I, wait. I know I saw more over there. Where's the... Where's the bloody rest of them? There were totally... Ah, yeah, there's... Okay, there's a group of them in there. Okay. That's where we want to be hanging out there. You two are just whacking each other. That's fine. I'm sure you can handle that yourselves. So let's just have a little Luke's around here. So they're totally down in that direction. Don't worry about that. Instead, one iron door. We've got, ooh. Okay. Into the trap section. Gotcha. And when I say into the trap section, I literally just activated the same trap that he did by having that thing swing there. So well done me. Bandit Marauder over there is almost dead. Lovely. I suspect I have to go this way. This is just a way. Ooh. 
It's just a way around, right? Yeah, this is just a way around and probably where the Skyrim door... No, this is a bit far in for a Skyrim door, actually. I don't see it. It's normally really obvious on the walls. Right, jump over the top of that. Someone else will activate it, mind, but that's okay. Yep, there we are. Now, where have we got? Ah, that'd be what the group of people were then. That will presumably be, yeah, they're just in there. That's fine. We'll just um, get them activated by kind of tossing some stuff at them. That's all right. Just kind of cast a Jamorlord into the room. They'll probably pop up. You want to pop up at this point, guys? No, they're probably going to wait for me to kind of hit a switch or something. What are you waiting for me to do? Ah, probably pull this book up. Ah, hang on. Four totems of thingy. Right, we got totems marked as snake, wolf, fox, or possibly fox, and bear may or may not be polar. Okay, so probably read this book and take it, but then that's going to tell me what order this needs to all be pulled in, but probably activate these guys as well. Four bound to the same land as we, some lie low, consumed in shadow, others stand tall, stretching their necks to see. While none live in this sacred barrow, they all demand your attention if you are to proceed. First fears all, second fears none, third eats what it can, preferably number one, fourth fears the second, only when alone. Okay, presumably the... The fourth will be wolf, because wolves are in packs. Yep. Um, so that would suggest the second fears... Second fears none. Okay, that would be the bear. The bear doesn't fear anything. And the wolves can take down the bear in a pack. That leaves the fox and the snake. The snake fears... I'm not sure if you really could say the snake fears everything. I suppose it's down on the ground, so I guess so. And the fox will eat what it can. Does that make sense? The other way around eats what it can, preferably number one. Is that true? Does a snake... I mean, a fox feels like it's more timid than a snake, to be honest. And a snake might like to eat a fox. Actually, a fox would be a bit big. So I'm going to say snake first. We're going to give that a go. So let's try snake first and see if that works. It might not be. It might be wrong. That might activate all the guys. Yeah? Okay. Uh, in which case, then we go over to bear for number two, because that doesn't fear anything. Right, okay. And then we say, no, not the wolf. The wolf comes last. Then we say the fox just eats what it can, ideally eats a snake. Possibly. And then over to the wolf, only scared of the bear when it's alone. Right? And... Okay, job done. And unfortunately, that means the undead don't seem to activate, which is a shame, because I'd like to have just, you know, got my one handed up with them, but never mind, eh? Right, so we solved the mystery the bandits could not, because everyone in Skyrim is terrible at solving really, really basic riddles. Still, someone made it in here. Random skeleton. Okay, someone made it in and then got trapped. Down we flipping go. Ooh, this is getting more interesting. This isn't just some ruins, there's puzzles. Not much in the way of puzzles, but then Skyrim doesn't really have much in the way of puzzles. That's about as puzzly as Skyrim flipping gets. We've got ourselves, ooh, the Volseek passages. Now, new area. Give it a quick vas, and there's... Okay, I see one person over there, but just one on their own. Okay, and potentially facing away from me as well, rather bloody conveniently. No sign of undead or anything. But, a few things... Ah, okay. Take the common soul gem. Lever to presumably change over which doors are open or closed. So that one's fine. We don't need anything out of that one. Right, through here. Open the door. We've got... Ah! Okay. Serana, stay still. Just stay here. Wait. Yep, yeah, just wait. Do not immediately start walking forwards and going up that thing. Which is what you normally do, because you normally ruin flipping stealth for me, alright? Right, so, just a quick muffle. And now, we get to sneak up behind this awesome guy. Just, no, 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 okay. Good, good, good. And... There we go! Didn't really need much in the way of 
who was just examining Skeevertail. I feel like this guy was not a master necromancer. Also, one quick trap chest. Deal with that. Right, that's open. Grab you. Ooh, flawless diamonds. The best kind of diamond. And ultimate magicka too. Nice, all used for there. Now, presumably, if I hit this lever, that will open this up. But this doesn't do anything. Okay, that's of interest. Fine. What was the point of that lever then? Well, pull this. That gets that open. And now watch out for dropping onto spikes. Yep, definitely watch out for dropping onto spikes. I'm not stepping on there just on the off chance. And I wouldn't recommend anyone else does either. Ah, probably this, right? Does that cause that to... Uh... Wait, what's that causing? Ah, I've just activated a admittedly very small amount of axe swinging. Fine. Um, Serana, are you actually following me now, by the way? Sorry. Yeah, come with me. Come with me. I told you to wait back there, but you just followed me anyway. You're so much worse at following orders than Ben or was. I miss Ben or. Right. Through here. Another one of... Oh. Right. So, you've managed to actually get yourself badly wounded, and I can't heal you, because my healing spells don't work on the undead. Marvellous. You've healed up. So, this is... Ah. Okay. There is a way down there. I probably don't want to close it. Ah! Skyrim door of some description. Hello. Just wait for some form of trap. Just, okay, hit that, but don't. Ah! It's an airlock. An ancient underground airlock of some description. I see. Ah, but by backing out and then pulling that one again, I have actually managed to get both stages of the airlock open. So, actually... Job flipping done, and... Right, well, this room's totally just going to try and stab me then, isn't it? Fine, let's just not, like, step on any pressure plates at all. Serana, I wouldn't stand where you're... You know what, never mind, it's fine. And there she... That was a terrible trap. I could have... If I'd have been standing right here and grabbed that, the spikes would have missed me. Those were so badly positioned. Right, way forward's probably in that direction. But yeah, I can't help but notice there's... Well, there's a way down here. I'm just not sure if I could get back up again. I probably could. Right, let's just go down. Yeah, it would be pretty easy to, to clamber back up here just with the odd jump. Fine, so who's there? Probably something bad. That's candlelight. You're just a... You know, I think I could probably take you on one-on-one. -on -one. You just stay out of this. All right, with some healing magic, let's see what we... Oh, yeah. You know what? I think we're all right, actually. I think we're just flipping fine. Also, I think she's just brought that guy back to life to help me. She can't be asked to come down, but she's just kind of sent that guy down to assist. Thank you. Oh, no, she's found a way up. How did you find this way? Hang on, where are we even going? Wait, where are we now? Wait, what? Where the bloody hell am I? Oh, also, you're here now. Well, that's fine. Now I know you pose basically no threats to me, so that's all right. Yeah, why don't you just flip and bring it? There we go. Come on. Come along. Here you go. Oh, you're just a basic. Oh, that's no good for you. Right, and dead. Oh, I feel like I just flipping hammered in a flipping ice spike into his brain. That's just unpleasant. Right, now no one step on the trap door, because the trap door will totally murder us. I assume this is going to lead back to the room I was in before. Right, yeah, this looks like the slope that led back to that room here. Yeah, okay, so you just basically can skip slightly ahead by actually falling down there. Lovely. Now everyone avoid the obvious trap panel. Lovely, well done. And then we've got... Saran just walked into it. Well done. <laughs> oh, dear. I think she also just walked into something else. That's a restless. That's no good. Fine. Just keep on going. This dragon bone mace is working beautifully. Right. What else have we got? I think she's running to something that's actually got shouts up there. Saran, did you activate something bad? What do you come across? Ooh, a death lord. How bad's that? Not that bad these days. Though, admittedly, I am a little bit... Ooh, hello. Where have all you come from? Hang on. There's a... Were you one of... Wait, which one of you's on my side? I think I just killed the one on my side. That's fine. Light armor's going up because I'm actually taking on some hits for once. And then... Oh, hello. You're maybe a little bit more on the tricky side. Right, I'm just going to avoid you just for the second. Ooh. Heal up. And heal up. And now we've got one of them on my side. That will hopefully distract him for a minute. Right. Is my thing out of charge, by the way? Because I feel like it's not quite, you know, flickering as much as it should be. Yeah, that thing runs out of charge pretty quickly. Well, that's fine. I've got the Black Star. And I also, by the way, ought to get a new friend. Moira, come and assist, please. 
There we go. Nice. And now you're in a bit of trouble. Oh, yeah. I'm massively causing the most damage of anyone on my team right now. Very good. You awake, by the way. Oh. You weren't yet, but I spotted you might be. Yeah, this is interesting. My light armor is going to start going up a lot faster now. I'm actually taking the odd hit on the front line, which is kind of cool. And that will help me with the old defensive business. By the way, you just go up there because we've got a lot more flipping Dramora Death Lords up there yet. So you just, like, you know, keep him distracted. Oh, he's a guy with a bow. Blimey. Well, that's fine. I, I'm stuck in a corner. Guys, I'm... Guys, I'm stuck in a... I'm stuck in a corner. This is... I think I'm stuck in a wall. Does anyone know how I get out of this here wall? Um, oh, well, this is embarrassing. I'm going to try turning into a vampire lord to see if I can fly or bat my way. I can! Good, it's all fine. Right, excuse me. Don't worry, I got this. I got this, it's lovely. Uh, honestly, I feel like vampire powers don't work too well against the undead. Right, now I'm just a vampire lord, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, vampire magic, when I'm with Serana, and also when I'm taking the undead, that's not really working out for me. Let's just revert form, actually. Let's go back to how we were. That was better. Just anytime you're ready. There we go. And also, you have brought a nice... There we are, just in time to help out there. And that gets rid of you. Yep, and you are actually flipping summoning stuff in here. Right, so... There's some quite tough little undead in here, aren't there? Quite a few death lords all at the same time is a little bit on the tough side. And more flipping, yeah, more death lords up there. Blimey, right. You just go up there, distract him for a bit. He's got a bow. Oh, blimey. He was a death lord, wasn't he? Oh, I think he walked into the trap. I think part of the problem was the trap triggered. Right, let's just stay out of the way of the trap because the trap will just occasionally completely knack at you. Yeah, I think you actually got killed by the trap there. That's pretty good. Marvellous. Right, and now we're going kind of out of ruins into more kind of cavey systems here. It feels like there might well be spiders yet. Hello? Any chance of... Yeah! Thought so. Right, just cast you forward and then just take care of... I think I can deal with spiders at this point, though. I think I've got spiders sorted. Though I actually kind of need some more humans to take out just because, you know, I actually need to top up the black start. Right. No. No. No, no, no. There we go. Job done. Lovely. And it really feels like we're going on quite a journey underground right now. Almost as if we're, like, going through... Yep, yeah, come my way through here. Uh, more frostbite spiders up ahead. Uh, almost like this is actually going to bring us out somewhere very different to where we are right now. And there's more flipping spiders. I think we can handle that. Like, you know, the game's sort of introducing them like they're a big deal. I'm actually immune to poison, by the way. So, uh, the whole spitting at me thing, not going to work out for it. Yeah, I couldn't even bother to break out the good death animation there. It's just, yep, whack him on the head. Quick boop, dead, lovely. But yeah, now we're apparently just well into flipping spider territory. But now it feels like we're going back up again. Like, we are indeed going to, like, come up in a completely different area. So that's all interesting. Because normally I would expect something like this to lead into, like, you know, a big room where there's going to be, like, a word of power and a big treasure chest and a Skyrim door. But it kind of feels like, actually, we've gone on a really big horizontal journey, like we're actually travelling somewhere underground. And the place was called Passages, suggesting I may actually be on the mo- Oh! Well, I'm about to get killed by something! Yep, thought so. I just killed Moira, sorry. But then again, we're kind of back in traditional territory here. With more flipping undead showing up. You're just... Oh, dear. No, you're just a white. You are outmatched at this point, And you're just one as well. Oh, there's also a spider. No, I think that's actually um, Serana's spider. It's got a bit of a blue tint to it. So I assume she brought back a spider to help us. But this all feels a bit more fan... Ooh, big rooms. Yeah. This is a bit more fancy right here. Oh. You know what? I think we're fine just basically mating you in the face. It's under control. Everything's fine. And we've got ourselves... Ah! Now we have got the king of the death overlords. Wait, what have we taken on death? No, we've been taking on death lords so far. So how tough are you? Really not that bad, all things considered. I think we... Oh, yeah. The four of us together, plus any additional foxes or rabbits I decided to bring in. I think we got this. Now this, don't even think about it. This right here is my chair. Actually, I can't even sit on it. Oh, Fine, I guess it's yours if you want it, given I literally am not allowed to sit down on the thing. 
Now, what has all this been worth? A glass sword of garnering. Yeah, I can do without. Expelling, again, not so spectacular. I guess I'll just take some basic stuff then. Actually, you know what? I'll sell that. 14 to 1,192. Yeah, I'll take that just to sell. And that leads us up to... Ah! That leads us up to the peak. Fine, we might actually be getting up to a secret top area here. And yes, indeed. We're back outside, but now we are very, very high up indeed. Ooh! Okay! I was right. We've got... Uh-oh. Okay. Serana, I don't stand there. That If you stand there, it makes me feel like I've arranged that just to look down your top, and I haven't, all right? You just keep putting them in my face, and I don't even want you to. I feel like if there's a word wall right there, and this was a weirdly named ancient ruin, and there's a crypt right here, I suspect we're about to take on our second dragon priest. Now, I think... I think we're ready for Dragon Priest number two, all right, team? Admittedly, I wish I had a better companion than you here for this, but... Moira, I can trust you on this, right? Yeah? All right, I think we got this. It's going to be fine. Right. We're going to need a fresh Moira here. So there we are. Moira's freshened up. Now give me the word, and I'm guessing that crypt's going to burst open. It's going to be a Dragon Priest. And it's Tempest Whirlwind Sprint. Yes, as I suspected. Right, just go for it. Go for it. He's Volsung. Whatever a Volsung is, he's Volsung. Oh, we're knackering him. We're flipping knackering him. And my one hand has gone up to 100 while taking on a flipping... Oh, I'm out of charge. Luckily, I don't think he got an attack in. I think we just destroyed him before he attacked. That was good. Right, so we killed ourselves a Volsung. Nice. And he had on him a Volsung. Uh, so, carry capacity up by 20, breathe underwater, price is 20% better. Right, remember to slap that on when I'm actually buying and selling. Shame it weighs 5, that's quite a lot. And breathing underwater permanently might well be of use, yes. Alright, that's definitely worth flipping having. And yeah, unfortunately, once again, I am now completely out of charge. Yeah, this thing really, really burns through charge. So I need to potentially go and find, like, a human to, like, smash in the face or something because I need to top up. The Black Soul Gem. All right. All right. But we're in good shape right now. And now we are killing whenever we want to. Can we get down here? We might be able to get down here. Serana, I've got a plan again. I will be with you in just a second. There we go. She's just going to go down that way. Actually, I think I could have just walked down the rocks. I'm not sure I needed to have her do that face first. No, this is fine. We could just walk down. It was fine for us to just walk down the whole time. Sorry. Still, that's that cleared out, and that means, yes, actually, right over... Wait, right over here? Hang on, where's the thing? Ah, it's because the, the bandit leader is not actually anywhere near where the actual thing is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that is enough for now. We've got a very nice potential site for us to build a house, and we are making some good progress towards Oriel's bow, heading down this rather mysterious little out-of-the-way valley at the very rear of the world. Kind of a bit out of the way, really. I don't see much reason I'd ever have gone this way normally. This is all very, very new to me indeed. Marvellous. And now, now we are powerful enough to start just knackering flipping Dragon Princess. So, we will go kill the leader of Deepwood Redoubt, whoever that is. I can't remember who actually told me to do that. So hopefully the quest will remind me when I kill that person or dragon or zombie or whatever. And then we need to go and get Oriel's bow and start thinking about wrapping up this DLC. So all of that coming very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Skyrim. Thank you very much and goodbye. You know, I really hope we've agreed open borders with Japan, by the way. Otherwise, they have basically just invaded. I may have picked the wrong fight over. Yep. And my sisters, of course, have got even more flipping high-tech, though mysteriously still completely dependent on, you know, an aqueduct. Now, I'm not saying your entire army is mostly already dead, but it kind of actually is.